So today I'm going to give you a little update on my card catalog here. One thing I love is this picture I got right here of myself and my daughter with uh, Animal from the Road Warriors. And of course, my picture with my wife here on our wedding day. So let's take a look at this card catalog. So first off, my uncle made this for me. I do not have the carpentry skills to make something like this. He did a fantastic job. I'll kind of show you the side, side view so you can see how deep it is there. Um, I bought the little handles here off of Amazon. Um, so I thought those were a good find. One thing that's really cool about the card catalog um, is you, you can tell the way he did it that the drawers, the grain of wood, um, goes all the way across. And so he, uh, when he was doing building the card catalog, he numbered um, each of these drawers in pieces so that he made sure that the grain, you could see the grain all the way across, which I thought is a really nice feature to this. We'll take a look at an empty one here first. These are wide enough and tall enough um, for top loaders. You can see the little notch there. I can take that out if I need to. Um, but the drawer itself is pretty long, um, about long enough for what a, a 800 or a 1600 count box would be. Um, trying to give you a little idea of the size of the drawer. So kind of how I have these organized. The top, all the top ones are full of top loaders. Um, it's all basketball right in there. You can see it fits great. Um, just a ton of top loader stuff in there. So that's all basketball. Some more basketball in there. And then I got football top loaders there. And then baseball top loaders in these final two drawers here. And then on the second level, I have my North Carolina kind of player collection cards there, some Project 70, and uh, what was that? Yeah, the and Project, or Top 70, and then the Project 2020 cards there. And then one of my favorite drawers now is this, this kind of like others. There's racing, Star Wars, wrestling cards, all kinds of fun cards in that drawer there. So my older, oh, this is the 1988 player, or 1988 Fleer basketball set and 89 Fleer basketball set I'm working on. And then we have uh, some just older cards from the 50s and 60s. Don't really buy any of those anymore now, but that's where those are. And then the 1986 Topps football set I'm trying to piece back together. Now the bottom drawers are all made for PSA sized uh, slabs. And there's, here's my dog just kind of helping me out right there. Um, so yeah, the bottom drawers are all this bigger sized and they are all made for PSA uh, sized slabs for graded cards. I don't have a ton of those, but um, I saw this in uh, another, another person, um, baseball card collector who had uh, done this. I thought that was a really cool feature. So kind of, if I ever got into more into the slab cards later on, I'd have room for those. And then some of my better cards, one touches, and then kind of my little fake slab stuff there. So yeah, all these are um, for PSA sized slabs. So another really nice feature of the card catalog that I like. So overall, I absolutely love this card catalog. It has been a huge help for um, just keeping my collection organized, being able to really enjoy my collection, just having my cards right there um, where it's easy to get at. Um, it's a really nice furniture piece on top of it for our home. Um, so it has been awesome. I did try, or we, my wife and I both tried looking for old antique vintage ones um, at those the antique stores and we found some, but um, for the most part, they're super expensive and just trying to retrofit them 
for a collection uh, just wasn't going to really happen. So it was just easier. And luckily I had an uncle who was super handy in wood, in wood making. So I will put down below um, a link to the schematics that he used and some pictures that he took while he was making it to kind of help anyone who has who's trying to attempt to build something like this. If you have any questions also, uh, please leave them in the comments below and I'll be glad to help you. So I hope everyone's doing well. Um, like I said, I cannot recommend having something like this enough. And like I said, I hope everyone's doing well. Until next time, YouTube, be good. And uh, Luna says bye too. Hey, Luna.